Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming tonight. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu ma'aroof is sadaqah. Every act of kindness is a charity. Swaki nachin pomoch ya sadaka. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ida zulzilat al-ardu zilzalaha. Wa akhrajat al-ardu athqalaha. Wa qala al-insanu ma laha. Yawma idhan tuhadithu akhbaraha. Bi anna rabbaka awha laha. Yawma idhan yasdur al-nasu ashtatan liraw a'malahum. Faman ya'amal mithqala dharratin khayran yara. Wa man ya'amal mithqala dharratin sharran yara. Ok, assalamu alaikum. Hvala vam svima što ste došli, da ste zdrivi i zdravi, vi i vaše familije. Ovo nam puno znači što ste nam uljepšali ovaj dan i ne ste biti nikad zaboravljeni što se tiče nas. Toliko od mene, ali ja nisam neki govornik, ali eto, moja žena će vam to malo bolje objasniti neke stvari. I tako, hvala vam da ste živi i zdravi. You are all in dua. Everywhere we help, it's all of you. It's you who came today to, to be support, to be here with us. And uh, we are doing our best to make everybody happy, to make this work. For all of you, whoever donates, for all of you who supports in any way, even the share on the Facebook means a lot. Even uh, some, sometimes just like asking, can we volunteer, it means a lot. So we are all together in this. and. Thank you all for coming again. Uh, now, uh, I would like to call Dr. Sabil. Okay, bismillah. <clears throat> bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sabiyat mayna mabad. Everyone, welcome. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You know, when I heard about BIH, I was thinking, you know, this is a new organization. Never heard this in my life. But when I went to their website, I was totally amazed by the wonderful work that they're doing. So may Allah bless the leadership, may Allah bless the supporters, and may Allah accept it from every single one of us. Amen. Amen. So what came to my mind when I heard about BIH and the wonderful, amazing work they're doing is, right away an incident that happened in the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he was about 40 years of age, he, he received the very first wahi when he was in the, in the cave. And the prophet was not aware what is going on, who is this angel, and what is this revelation. So he was a bit tense, he was a bit uh, stressed. So in that state, he went uh, not to a counselor, not to his friend, right? And not to a psychologist, a psychiatrist. Right away, he went to, to his home, he went to his wife. And the wife saw the state of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and she consoled him. And look at the words that she said. So she said that, that by Allah, no, Allah will never disgrace you. You foster family, family relations, you bear the burden of the weak, you help the poor and the needy, you are gracious towards your guest, and you endure the hardship in the path of truthfulness. So what stuck out to me right over here is that she's uh, describing the qualities of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that you help the weak and the homeless and the widows and the orphans. So what we are doing here, why we are here to support and to collect the funds, is in fact a noble act. This is a sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So even before he started to preach the message of Islam, he was a relief worker. That's what I'm trying to say. He was a person who used to take care of the needy and the weak in the society. So all of us, mashallah, we have many, many hats that we are supposed to wear as Muslims. The hat of um, a person who is doing social justice, the, act of, uh, the hat of uh, inviting people to Islam, and yes, taking care of the weak, the homeless, and the needy amongst us. So this is a requirement for us we have to do it. You know, today morning I had a conversation in someone's home. They invited me for breakfast. And we had many, many positive things that we have to say about the Muslim community. But one of the brothers in there, he kept on saying, you know, uh, how come there is no, not so much unity in the Muslims in Chicago? 
people are building massages, but they should collaborate uh, better. So I mentioned to him, my dear brother, uh, there are only two options for the Muslims. Either we join the good work which is going on, or if you think that you know more needs to be done, then start your own organization and show them how it is done. And there is no third option. So we all need to support any good work which is going on. And one of those good works, mashallah, is from our sister uh, Alma and her husband and the family and the supporters from all of us, alhamdulillah. So may Allah bless this organization. May Allah bless the sister and her husband. I saw the photos of the young brother, mashallah, who I saw him handing over uh, you know, the bags and all of these to the, to the poor people. And may Allah bless this community. Open your hearts and mind, every single person, every single organization who is doing excellent work, we need to support. Jazakallahu khairan, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, wa nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi. Draga moja Fatima i vi svi koji niste razumili dosta šta je doktor Sabil rekao, pričao je o sadaki, pričao je o tome kako treba da pomažemo, da se ujedinimo, kako da bi nešto napredovali, treba da počnemo sami, a ako vidimo da zajednica neće. I found my therapy. After all the therapies, this is my therapy. And all this therapy, which comes to the humanity to doing all this work, first I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I thank my husband, because... Uh, like our big friend uh, Nihat said several times, if I was your husband, I'll kick you out of the house. Because my husband works hard, but you know, alhamdulillah, he never say no to me. I spend a lot of money on uh, that he makes giving it out. And you know, when money is missing, a lot of money from the account, he never yells at me and say, why, what did you do? He knows that I don't go shopping, I hate shopping. But alhamdulillah, uh, this organization, started long time ago, two, 2014. It just was a dinner, few sisters in my house. We were talking about family in Bosnia that was on the streets with a sick child. And I was like, why don't we all pitch in and send the, the money to at least build them a small room? We did it. That night, we, uh, I think we raised like $1,000. And then uh, several days later, other sisters came by, so I sent the money and alhamdulillah, we were able to put that family in the room. After that, like there was more ideas in my head. There was more people reaching from Bosnia to me. There was sisters, like Sister Azra that's here. She's gonna talk later, inshallah. But like, we started like saying, we can do other stuff too. So one weekend in my house, when we were having a halakha, reading our, our Quran, I told the sisters, why don't we visit the homeless with our children? Our kids were little. They were all little. I said, the best way for them, inshallah, to, to grow is to see that helping others, actually, you are helping yourself. You are growing. So we made the food. We had uh, a few uh, older Bosnians that made, handmade the socks for the homeless. So we went visit the first group of homeless. So we came with the kids, we were bringing stuff out and giving out. So there was American people there that were standing on the side and we were all covered. So they came and they're like, why are you doing this? We said, that's because it's in our religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that we have to help people. And one of them was like, but they are not Muslims. And I'm like, so what? They are humans. We are all humans. And from that, it was like going on other families from Bosnia, other, other people in Chicago that would reach out uh, several times to me to say my electricity is shut down. So I don't have money to pay $560 to have it on again. So I would reach out to people that I know that like to help, that like to give sadaq. I would tell them, I have a family in Chicago that their electricity is shut off, can you help? They would say yes. At that time, I wanted to start an organization, but, you know, I couldn't. I tried. I reached out to people. My voice wasn't heard, but alhamdulillah, that's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't want me to, at that time, start an organization. So, years passed by, pandemic came. The day when they said that everything is shutting down and 
there will be like, you know, uh, quarantines, no, no stores and stuff. I spoke that day with one Bosnian elderly. She cried on the phone. She was like, you know, even before this pandemic, nobody came to visit me. The caregiver that was assigned, she comes for four hours, she just like do whatever she needs to do, she leaves. I don't have nobody to talk to. Nobody's gonna bring me groceries. When this closed, I'm done. I started crying and I said, well, no, you will not. And she says, what are you gonna do? I says, inshallah, I will do something. I come to visit you here and there, but I'll do something else. I announced on the Facebook, I said to my fellow Bosnians, let's do something for the elderly. So let's make uh, baskets and, uh, and uh, on the side to give, and Ramadan was like just coming in a few days. I said, let's make the basket, give the out Quran and the bag of the dates. Why don't we start the Ramadan in a good way? Alhamdulillah, I had a lots of Bosnians that wanted to help. We raised $2,000. I was so happy. We were able to buy 100 Qur'ans. We were able to make 100 baskets. And we were able to buy, uh, I forgot how many boxes of dates, and each of the senior got the date. We went to 100 doors. It was me, uh, Adnan, he was very little the, uh, at that time, and uh, another sister with a uh, five-year-old child. We got uh, free uh, spices and some free food. But then I see that the box is almost empty, and I was feeling bad giving out just a little bit. I said, no, we can do better, we can do more. I started hustling people around that, you know, I know that will help. I said, why don't we buy some more spices? Because the Bosnian uh, seniors, for example, um, they cook, but they don't know how to cook with s certain spices. I gave them like hot pepper that was uh, like a Indian pepper. They didn't know they made food. <laughs> it was really <laughs> spicy. And they were like, please don't give us this anymore because we, none of the food was good. So I was changing the inside the box little by little. Then when we were told that we cannot get free food no more, that we have to pay, then we were like, oops, now we don't know what to do. My husband was covering all the time the rental of the U-Haul. Uh, Brother Bashir here knows what I'm talking about. He was part of it too. Uh, we have Brother Brian who is not here, who's all, who was also with me from the very beginning when it comes to U-Haul trucks. And um, then I was like, then I'm gonna start raising the money. I'm gonna start asking people around to help us. And I did, and that was like ups and down. Then I was told by, by uh, Dr. Kasarudin um, from Zeka, Chicago, he's like, sister, you need to register this. You need to register this, and, and I know you can do this. And we registered. And I didn't think that we are gonna go that fast with the paperwork. When I send all the paperwork and everything, I may do a but subhanAllah, inside of my heart, I was like, only Allah knows if we will get the 501c3, how long this is gonna be, if they are gonna hustle us and say no, this and that. But I wrote them everything from my heart when I sent the application, you know, and I do talk a lot, I do write a lot, I was scared they won't even read it. <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, within, even my husband told me when I said everything is sent, you know, paid and, and done, He's like, only Allah knows when we will get it. He's like, just keep going. It doesn't matter if we get it or not. I'm like, we will get it, inshallah. And our son Adnan, he's like, inshallah, we will get it, I know, and very fast. I'm like, Amin. Really, month later, I'm talking to my husband, and the, paper, the, the mail come. I didn't even pay attention, it's IRS, and it says, you know, congratulations, and whatever, and like 501c3, and I'm like, whoa, that's us. I called him, I'm like, we got 501c3, alhamdulillah. What I wanna say, I don't wanna go too, too far from uh, all that we are doing. We are not doing just here, we are doing in Bosnia, alhamdulillah too. There are people here that been support from the day one. She is right here, I'll, I'll tell you later a little bit more about this lady. She doesn't wanna be, no, but 
I have to mention you for a million reasons. Because you told me one day when I was really sad because I opened the fundraiser and uh, nobody was donating anymore. A lot of my uh, friends and people say that I'm really annoying with asking. A lot of them are also telling me why, I, why we do the, we visit the homeless. And uh, Chai Care, I will, I'll introduce you, brother, from the Chai Care, too, that are big support in uh, feeding the homeless every Sunday. I, I hustle for food. Uh, Dr. Kasarudin started uh, helping us in May. He was donating money, even thought that he wasn't sure if the Zekat Chicago will approve us for anything because we couldn't apply for Zeka Chicago until we got our 501c3 because that's the policy, you know. And Dr. Kasarudin from May up until November was donating his own money toward us. He was covering some spices that we were buying and that helped a lot. We had several people, I'm not gonna mention her again, but you know, we know we are who we're talking about that, that's been with us all the time. Like the minute I post on a Facebook, we need this, there she is. In split second. Like, our voice wouldn't be heard if there was not radio and TV, our word. They're sitting at that table over there and inshallah, uh, Brother Nihad will say a few words. Because uh, they are our, voice. Their uh, radio and TV station is our voice. He was hustling people too on my behalf. In his uh, uh, show on the radio, every five minutes he would mention, say, help from USA to, B to BIH is doing this, let's help them. Even he had some people that says they don't want to watch the radio and the TV because he's doing it too, you know, but Alhamdulillah he was with me all the time. Brother Ibrahim, who is Beha Production right there, and his son also, he, he made also marketing videos for us. And every month, as you see, then from uh, $830.98, we spend, uh, like I said, um, where was it? $5,431.83 plus 320 for homelessness. Uh, so we were negative a lot, but alhamdulillah we were not because I, I was transferring money from my husband's account and, you know, juggling this and this. <laughs> so September, alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. the deposits and donations were $3,166.73, and that's including Dr. Kasarudin. And uh, we spent $4,505.27, ending with $1,450. Four dollars and three cents. Because I had people who reach out to me and say, "I want to donate the food. I want to bring a uh, uh, hundred pasta. I want to bring this and that." When I tell them my home address, you know, people assume, and I don't blame them. You know, it it, it sounds weird that organization is re is in the house, legit organization that's 501c3 to be in the house. And I don't blame nobody when, when they back up. But if we have our place, then we will have the donors, the people who will bring the food, and that will save us money on buying the food. When you donate the money, you wanna see where it goes, right? Some people say, it's okay, I don't have to see. But it's better to close the door on the shaitan for you to see. Not because we wanna be shown, oh, that's what we are doing, no. It's because you trusted us and we wanna make that establishment healthy. So in Bosnia, we, we don't have established group that, that really do work for us. What we do uh, when, when there is a orphanage, for example, I talk directly to directors. I first talk to them and uh, we have to get, of course, green light from them that people who will come bring the food, the clothes and everything that we do, that we can take pictures and uh, we can never show the faces of the children in any of the orphanage that we do, so that's why we cover them. For example, this here is the picture of the boy Muhammad. He's become kind of like our adopted child. This boy, he's 13 years old. Uh, I don't have his picture here, but uh, he's 13 years old. He never spoke, he never walked, he never did practically anything except just grow. His father left because of his disability and he, him and his mom live alone. So um, two years ago when uh, 
I found out about them. Uh, we, I reached out to the mother. He didn't have no stroller. This is a special stroller that we purchased for him. And he's on diapers. So he's our adopted child that we help. Every three months, the money goes uh, for the diapers, for the food, for their bills. And uh, alhamdulillah, I had yesterday somebody, uh, that brother didn't make it. He, he want to stay anonymous. Even if he was here, he said he doesn't want to uh, be known. He's the one that donates $500 for us toward the storages. May Allah reward him. And he doesn't want to know proof of nothing. Like, wallahi, he donates. He doesn't want to. I sent him the report, like, this is what we do with your money. He's like, I don't need it. So he, he donated for Muhammad uh, $1,000, uh, $1,600 uh, for Muhammad that we will be sending to buy, again, supplies of the, the diapers, the food, and all the bills for the, the mom. Please come here. This is a great organization that helps the, the homeless. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to accept it with Brother Bashir as well. Yes, yes, please, Brother Bashir, please, please. Of course, he's you, my, he's you my come brother, here too, so. because you, you are part of all this. You are part of everything from the beginning. Without him, I couldn't operate, so. to support my dear friend Alma. I'm very proud of her too. She's really doing a great job. And um, since we are all uh, from Bosnia, I'm a war survivor like most of you here. And I'm glad that we did not forget. And I'm glad that we are still working um, and taking care of people in need. <clears throat> So um, I know most of you know, but I'm just going to um, do a quick review <laughs> since I'm a teacher. I'm going to do a quick review for those who don't know. So I'm a war survivor. I have survived the longest siege of a city in modern history, that city of Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina. From 92 to 95, 1992 to 1995, the city was cut off from access to water, gas, electricity, and food. The city was under constant attack with thousands of grenades falling each day. People around the world were helping by sending um, medical supplies, uh, food, and blankets. 
Sometimes it's hard to understand how something small as a blanket or a can of food can help someone. When I remember myself lying in the bed at night, trying to fall asleep, but I couldn't because it was so cold. It was 1993, it was the worst winter in Bosnian war. It was very, very cold. So it was kind of hard to go through the night. That extra blanket I got made a huge difference. I was able to go through the night. My lips were purple in the morning, but I was alive. Not only I was alive, I had a hope that I'm not alone, that there are people out there who care about me and who want to help. I was working in an organization that was helping um, during the war. I was young, I was in 20s. And I was working in an organization that was helping civilians. So we would be distributing hot meals made by the public kitchen to the older, um, to the se uh, seniors. One day we knocked on the elderly man's door, but he did not answer. So we were young, we did not think, we just knocked on the door, nobody answered, we left. <laughs> um, the next day when we came back, he opened the door and said that he had been waiting for us, but he could not hear us knocking. So he hadn't eaten anything for the whole day. That experience touched my heart deeply and made me realize how small things can make a big difference in people's lives. One guest of kindness, care, attention can change somebody's life. My name is Azra and I encourage all of you to take action and donate to this cause. All right, good evening. Um, before I start, I want to introduce uh, part of my team that is here. I have uh, my brother and my partner, Rafael Rodriguez, uh, who serves with me in Shower Up, and one of our most recent volunteers, uh, Alberto. They make it possible, and they make the work go a lot much easier uh, for myself. Uh, Shower Up. Uh, we are, we are an organization that serves those experience uh, homelessness uh, by providing showers. We have a 25-foot mobile trailer with three built-in shower units. And so <clears throat> we try our best to provide showers, hygiene resources, personal care, <clears throat> uh, and just to bring hope, share love, build relationships, and restore hope. Uh, back into our communities um, and back into the homeless population. Um, we feel uh, like the Alma was saying earlier and she was expressing, um, you know, that God knows her heart and that we can present something before man, but it is he that sees our hearts and it is he that he would judge, that would judge us. Um, so we know the commands, we know what's expected, and it is our job, it is our duty to put, uh, to put that faith in action. And so we have, you know, grabbed the bull by the horn, and we are boots on the ground, you know, organization. We are the handshake uh, organization to other resources, um, such as, um, Chicago Medicine, um, Loyola Medicine. We have Shycare, who is a, a, a great uh, partnership with, with Shower Up doing the meals. Um, where they can't go and we're there, we're able to still take meals. And, um, and we've seen that they have done that throughout the city with multiple organizations. And so with the mobile showers um, within the last year, we are at about 2,000 showers. Most importantly, the lives that we will continue to impact uh, and with your donation, with your feet, with your hands, you will help 
not only this organization, but many organizations doing the same type of work, be able to get to where our hands and feet would not be able to get. So know that your donation, no, no large or no, no little amount is in vain. It is going to the right people for the right people that are trying to do the right things for those that need it. Evo večera smo se skupili ovdje da pomognemo ne Almi, ne njenoj porodici, već organizaciji from USA to BiH. Emisa, što si ti došla večera? Došla sam da podržim naš ovu organizaciju. Almu cijenim i njenu familiju kao jako vrijedne ljude. Dao Bog da imamo malo više ovakve ljudi u Čikagu. Ovo nama i treba, ali bez svi u nas zajedno skupa ovo ne može da uspije. Ali hvala Bogu, večera su se odazvali koliko toliko neki ljudi. Ja samo pozivam naše ljude u Čikagu. Molim vas, jer ovo zaista vrijedi. Otičite na web sajt pa pročitajte šta ovija familija radi za Bosnu. Dovoljno bi bilo samo da se mi učlanimo, a 130 dolara nama ništa nije. Godišnje, godišnje je članana 130, a njima bi jako puno pomoglo. Ne samo njima, nego našem narodu u Bosni. I zbog toga sam došla ovdje da podržim ovu grupu, jer stvarno vidim, bila sam u mnogim grupama, svi koji imaju što kada znaju, znaju da sam bila u dosta grupa. Ali ovo što oni rade, zaista je vrijedno pohvale i divljenja i ja zaista... Ponosim se što su me prihvatili u svoj grup. Evo kako Alma večera sreće, ima članstvo, ti si jedini član sad za sad. Nadamo se večera da će se promijeniti. Jeste, večera su se mnogi još uključili, hvala Bogu. I očekujem i da će mnogo više ih se uključiti, jer zaista vrijedi narode moji. Možemo mi otići sve u kafane i na muziku i počinu podržati i pjevače naše koji dođu ovdje, ali sa 130 dolara godišnje mi možemo da podržimo ovu godinu. Evo imali smo i ja u dolazinu iz Bosni i Hercegovini humanitarne grupe, o njima se priča, širi se, a nama ovdje koji živimo, zapravo u organizaciji kao što je ova, ne pomađe se. Što smo se mi promijenili u zadnjih godina? Pravo da ti kažem, ne bi voljela da kažem očpravno zbog čega su neki se promijenili, ali je nekako smo postali pasivni, ne želimo da pomažemo ovdje našim grupama. Ja radim u downtownu gdje čujem od drugih kako drugi nacije imaju svoje grupe i organizacije i kako podržavaju jedne druge. Mi nikako ne možemo da krenemo, bio je to sjeća se bosanski klub, pa se kasnije otvorio, bio je kasnije Prijedorsko i Sarebsko. Nekako smo se gradali, stotine udruženja, ali je radilo. A sada sve isto nešto male neke grupice, ali zato bi trebalo da ujedinimo se, da napravimo ovu grupu, da krene kako treba. Pa onda kad bi našli prostor, pa svi bi mogli zajedno da dolazimo i da svaki ima i da pravimo sjela ako smo nekada pravili. Te Sarajevsko, te Goreždansko, te Prijedorsko, to bi tako bilo divno. Izvi, nemoj kozačane poskakati. Izvinjavam se, ni pošto, ni pošto imam dosta kozačana, prijatelja, kozačani, citovi Bosni i Hercegovine, ne samo par ovih gradova. Tako da zaista bi trebali da... Podržimo ih. Ovo je za svi u nas, za Bosnu i Ecegovinu. Evo večeras, nije nešto puno svijeta bilo, ali nadamo se da će učlaniti. Ako ništa, učlanili su se mnogi i večeras, to hvala Bogu dragom. A nadamo se da narod kad ovako čuje, treba samo širiti pozitivno. Nemojte gledati negativno, narod naš malo gleda negativno. Kad ovako vide da Alma, i ona sama priznaje da nekad je dosadna na Facebooku. Ali vjerujte, meni je to privuku kod nje. Zato što ja volim, ona sve crno na bijelo tarjeti. Sve je otvoreno kod nje. Nema ništa sakriveno. Tako da dosta naroda je ovako malo ljubomorno i ostavite se toga. Trebamo se toga ostaviti pa da krenemo svi zajedno da da se učlanimo, da pomažemo, da podržimo ovako ove skupe. Evo ako ništa, bar smo se vidjeli. Da, eto i to smo poželjeli. Jeste, nismo se vidjeli prije korone. Ne izlazimo se ovako. Ništa tebi hvala i što si bila večera si i hvala što si aktivna. Hvala. U svakom slučaju, za njih uvijek ću. Hvala ti. Hoćete nam se predstaviti. 
Can you please uh, introduce yourself? Uh, Georgina Dayton. Došli ste večeras da pomognete ovu organizaciju od From USA to BIH. You came tonight to support help from USA to BIH. That's true. We met with Ms. Alma and we know that she has a grand opening for her organization tonight. And actually we are very happy to be here. We appreciate her work. She is a wonderful person, very thoughtful, uh, reaching out to support her people and her community and we are here to support her. Mi smo došli ovde, došla sam večeras ovde da pomognem i da podržim pomoć od USA do BIH zbog toga što je Alma odlična osoba koja radi sa ksemi dušom. Da ne idem sada u detalje, nije bitno da li je o meni, bitno je tačno da je tu da nas podrži zato što smatraju da ovo što radimo je dobro. Šta radi vaša organizacija? What does your uh, organization agency does? I work for uh, Serenity Home Health Care. We provide home care services for seniors and people with disabilities. Uh, also, we provide home health, uh, pediatric, uh, physical therapy, nurses, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, we are always hiring for people. My, my position is with the marketing and recruiting. Uh, I help seniors with applying for home care services. I make a referral for them with the Department on Aging. Do follow up till, till, until they are approved. And also I work on the recruiting team, which is uh, helping uh, hiring. Of the, I help with the hiring process. I help with the training until the home care aid is uh, ready, uh, ready to work. Uh, yeah, so I work with the Serenity Home Health Care. Pa sigurno sam da će gledalci ovo sve razumiti, ali eto, utančine, ovo je Serenity organizacija koja ima i home care, i health care, i pediatric care i tako. Za sve možete se javiti ili na tvoju stranicu ili na našu Help from USA, mi ćemo vas uputiti dalje. Ok, gdje je locirana vaša organizacija? Where is location of your agency? Well, our corporate office is in Niles, and we have other offices actually. We have an office in Cicero, we have an office in Southside, 79th Street, and we have an office in Palos Hills. We opened a new office in Waukegan. And we have actually, we're opening some other offices around here. Yes, in yes, Illinois. Probably. In Illinois, yes. Other uh, cities in Illinois. Opet kažem, vjerovatno sve je razumljivo, samo da kažem da se stvarno jedna odlična agencija da se radi, oni upravo imaju otvorena radna mjesta i ja i ona ćemo da posjetimo nekoliko zgrada i napravit ćemo neke male kao sastanke, prezentacije da se malo više zna o organizaciji. Yes, I just want to say um, I'm honored to meet with you, Ms. Alma. Thank you. Same. And uh, on a personal level, in my on uh, my agency's behalf, I will say uh, thank you for all you're doing. And I really, I was amazed by the amount of love that you have for your community, for your own people. God bless you more and more, and you have a golden heart. And we need people like you, actually, in our community. We, I love you, personally, I love you. I love you a lot. And uh, I will support you in any way I know how, uh, with, uh, with the serenity on health kit and on a personal level also, because um, because because of your cause, because the beautiful heart you have, because um, because of your own person, you are a beautiful, Thank you. beautiful people. Get must continue Thank doing you. what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I hope we're gonna work together in the future. Amen, amen, and I want to thank you for uh, giving us of your time, sir. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bahra Vinikovic. Večeras nećemo pjevati, večeras ćemo ovo pričati. Odkud vi na ovoj večeri, donatorskoj večeri, za pomoć od 
Ameriki do Bosne i Hercegovine? E, ja sam uvijek za takve stvari sa zadovoljstvom, pošto sam čula o tebe Nihade za ovo veće i zato sam i došla s poštovanjem. Evo, vi ne koristite usluge ove organizacije, ali ste ipak došli i odlučili ste da ćete se učlaniti večeras. Naravno da ćete učlaniti, nije meni potrebna nikakva pomoć, ali ja volim da pomognem drugom. Znači, našli ste se u ovoj organizaciji. I zato smo i došli, ja i suprug. S tobom je sad i lov naš. Hoćemo li pozvati i naše sugrađane da se uključe i da, ako se ne mogu, jel, ako ne mogu 10 dolara, ali mječno mogu uz donaciju imu dolar, dva, pet. Ma kako da ne, brate, pozivamo svu raju našu, pa nije problem dolar, dva, deset, pedeset, nije važno koliko ko može, po Bogu, brate. Kako je lijepo doći vidjeti svašta. A dobro, moramo reći da ste vi od onih što volite pomagati. Volim, naravno. Zato sam tu. Ništa, hvala ti. Evo večera si održala, ja ne znam kako da nazovim ovu, i humanitarna već je u upoznavanju sa organizacijom. Evo, kako ste zadovoljni vas dvoje? Pa, alhamdulillah, ja sam sretna. Ja sam bila zadovoljna i... I bila spremna da dočekamo i deset ljudi, pošto nije bio neki odaziv onako kada je na Facebooku bilo, ali alhamdulillah, ja sam rekla doći oni koji budu poslani da dođu i koji su u stanju da dođu, ja se zahvaljujem i ko nije mogao doći, ima svijeta koji nije mogao doći, ali su kupili tikete, rekli su ne mogu doći. Znači što je meni malo zbunilo večeras, hvala Bogu bilo je svijet. Ali me je malo zbunilo jer evo što je naš Ibro uradio reklamu, znači ovaj promo video i sve, samo ljudi iz Čikaga na mom Facebooku je preko 18.000 ljudi vidio, iz Čikaga govorim, ne govorim sad iz drugih mjesta. Tako da sam očekivao bar 300 do 500 ljudi. Ma znam. I mi smo leto šta će. Šta je tu ja fala svima koji su došli. Ja sam prezadovoljno. Hvala Allah. Mi idemo dalje i... Hvala svima da su živi i zdravi koji je došao, a i oni što nisu. O srce ono, ali bit će ovo. Bit će ovo, ovo je krenulo i malo pomalo. Važno je nek se počelo pričati. Jeste. Ja kažem svaka priča je jedan vid reklami. I ona loša i dobra. Alhamdula, jeste, jeste. I mi ne zamjeramo nikome. Nikome. I ko ne voli ovo što radimo. I ko ne voli nas slično. I ko misli da mi radimo nešto pogrešno. Mi ne zamjeramo. Ja samo kažem. Ja... Hvala dragom Allahu, samo Allahu što kažu na seždu padam i njega molim. On sve vidi. Mi da radimo nešto što ne treba, sigurno ne bi bili registrovani i sigurno ne bi se usudili da što kažu sa državom imamo posao. To je broj jedan. Broj dva, ovo je stvarno nešto što se radi iskreno srce, nešto što se voli. Meni je ovo terapija. Meni je ovo terapija, stvarno, ja ne znam ništa drugo nego ovo, meni je ovo terapija, ja dok ovo radim ja sam zdrava, ja dok sjednem ja nisam zdrava. Ja pa dobro, pričali smo i o vašoj organizaciji, počinjecima i sve večera su ljudi mogli da vidi i čuju sve od prvog dana do današnjeg dana i naši gledali će imati priliku poslije ovog razgovora, mi ćemo pustiti i snimak. Vama smo neizmjerno zahvali. Šta ćemo zapustiti? Tražimo ga, tražimo ga, znaš kako, gdje god odemo, kaže 2000, mali prostor i odmah traži ili mjesec ili dva depazita. Sad treba odmah, što kažu, cugu, kako, kako, da on ne dopušta da ja trošim naše pare, mi ne bi mogli ništa, ali eto. I nezgodno je, i nezgodno je da se uzmi prostor, ako, jau, sad na jednu godinu dana, ako već nije imati. Jer on mora potpisat, on mora potpisat kao garanti. Svi gdje god smo bili su nam rekli, ja sam rekla, mi smo non profit, šta ne daj Bože da nešto stane, da ne može, kaže, ne interesuje nas, onaj koji je garant, njega ćemo ganjati. Znači za jednu godinu otprilike treba izmojiš 25 i 30 i da, da. Otprilike, da. I to je cilj da se skupi, da bi mogli 
servers, jel, kako se kažu, u narodu. Mi da možemo skupiti deset, jeste. I deset hiljada da skupimo, mi bi bili spremni da se, što kaže, usudimo potpisati ugovorna, jer svi traže dvije do tri godine. Pa evo, pozivamo sve naše gledalce koji nas gledaju ne samo u Čikagu i širom Amerike, koji mogu nek posjeti strancu od BiH do USA do BiH, kliknite na Paypal, Zele, šta god imate, jel? Počelite dolar, dva, pet, deset, da skupimo taj novac i da... Evo, da imamo neki prostor gdje se može... Bravo, bravo, evo, ovoliki prostor mi kad bi mogli da nađemo, u ovolikom prostoru mi bi mogli da napravimo milion stvari, ja kažem, mi stvarno želimo da to bude mjesto, dobrodošli se svakom, da nema ni po babi, ni po stričajima, da nema ni po šteli, ni po ovome, nego tačno da bude srčano, da se tu mogu i stari da sjednu, da popiju kafu, da popričaju, da kogod želi da dođe, sve, imamo sve crno na bijelo, kogod želi bujrum, kogod donira i kaže, želim da vidim ti statement od banke od augusta do sada, jer to je kad je organizacija otvorila rač, znači svaki, hvala Allahu, peni ima gdje je odšao, nijedan nije odšao gdje ne treba, svaki je odšao tamo gdje treba. Pa možda je to i greška, što se pokazuje sve, možda ljudi od toga i bježi. Ja znam da neki bježe, jer jedna mi osoba rekla, kaže, ne radi se to moja alma tako, ne prikazuje se to sve tako, to se drugačije radi. Ja sam rekla, žao mi je, ali, prvo, dragi Allah, zabranjuje tako što je drugo, on mi je podvukao des puta i rekao, ja sam predsjednik, jel tako, i ja se pitam, ma ni slučajno nikakvog muljanja da bude kad bi ti neko dudio sto hiljada dolara, ne može se muljati. I ne damo tako nešto. Zaista želimo da to bude čisto, jasno, glasno. I zašto pokazujemo slike? Nekima smo dosadni jer kaže što stalno u slike, šta radite, kome ste dali, kako. Iz tog razloga da se zna, jer dešavalo se da sam davala koje poslije nisi meni ništa dala. Iz tog razloga, ako daš dolar da znaš gdje je taj dolar, ako je dolar za Bosnu, u Bosnu, toliko je odšlo. Ako je dolar za ovde, odšlo je tu. Ništa, evo, još jednom, još jednom hvala vam za ovo sve što radite. Nadamo se da će ići na bolji. Kako Bog da, hoće. Pa i hvala vama. Hvala, hvala BH produkciji. Hvala tebi Nihade, radio, televizija, naša riječ. Jer ja opet kažem, Sve na jednu stranu, ali vi ste naš glas, vi ste naša, što kažu, medija koja prenosi. Jer sve što mi radimo jeste, ima Facebook, ono, malo mahala, ali ipak, ipak, ovo što ste vi uradili večeras, Ibrahime, hvala ti puno ti hvala od srca. I tebi Nihade, jer uvijek si bio uz nas i prije i sad. Ibrahim, isto tako, stvarno, ja se izvinjavam ako sam išta propustila, ali hvala vam od srca. Ništa, hvala.